Philadelphia, are you ready? <laughs> no, he said, are you ready? This is Brotherly Love Wrestling Podcast, your first stop for everything professional wrestling. So sit back and enjoy wrestling talk at its finest with your hosts, Larry Hall and Joe Corrado. Welcome everybody to Brotherly Love Wrestling, and it is the showdown before the throwdown. Hold on. The showdown before the throwdown. Thank you, Joe. And on today's show, the reason this is the showdown before the throwdown, we have Black Wrestlers Matter coming up June 19th on Saturday, and we have the main event, the title match. We have Mr. JDX, and we have the frontman, Jossie. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you, Rob. Listen, you're, you're, you're welcome for having me. You are absolutely welcome for having me. And I'd be remiss if I didn't point out the fact that the frontman's rocking uh, the greatest feud of all time, uh, Clover Lang and, and Rocky Balboa. It, it, it's so serendipitous for this occasion. And I figured... Tonight, since we're doing this uh, special, uh, you know, Rocky versus Austin type of trash talking thing, the front man would pour himself a glass of Terramana tequila. Shameless plug. Let's do the show. That 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 speaks to your professionalism, and you know, shout out to the guys at Brotherly Love because they didn't bury you and they didn't. And- they didn't mention the fact that you were once again late for another one of these promoting these promotions for our match this Saturday. Once again, were you once again, were you late? Once again, uh, my, my apologies, dude. Hey, what can I say? I guess I'm just feeding into the stereotype, right? Yeah, I suppose. All right, guys, let's not get too ahead of ourselves because we want to keep you here as long as possible because we want to get we want to get the hype going if there's not enough hype already for this championship match to crown the inaugural black black wrestlers matter championship what is yes. the uh, the nickname we gave it the silver smoker sophie you know it, you're right this is a, a huge main event the inaugural black wrestlers matter champion of the world the the amount of pressure that comes along with introducing a, a new spe- a new piece of hardware, excuse me, to the professional wrestling world and convince them that this piece of hardware solidifies the guy wearing that hardware as being the real deal, Holyfield, all that, a bag of chips on his worst day, man, that comes with an immense amount of pressure. And uh, the matchup between uh, the front man, Jossi, and, and JDX, J- Justin, Justin D. Xavier, uh, yeah, Justin D. Xavier. That's going to uh, that's me. That's going to set the. That's going to set. That is you, correct? It's going to set a new bar for our culture, for our business, for our industry. And you know what? I'm going to be very, very proud to bear that pressure and to bear that burden after I kick JDX in the face. After you kick me where? I'm sorry. You broke out there, dog. In the face. Oh, in the face. Kick so. you, kick you right. in the face. You kicking me in the face. You you confident that's going to get you to one, two, three, dog? Hmm? No, dude. It's it's my skill that I think is going to give me the one, two, three. My ability to oh. wear you down and make you, make you uh, apologize for thinking that you had the technical ability to go hold for hold. Hmm. <laughs> Ja, you talk a lot of talk, man, and, and more often than not, you do back it up. I'll give you that. But the fact of the matter is, to use that cliche line, next Saturday is just <laughs> you're not going to be able to 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 put up all the all the trash talk that you've been talking, man. You're not going to be able to back it up. I promise you that. I promise you that. You biting off more than what you can chew. You keep talking shit. You keep running my name down. You keep talking about the decent. Please and that. watch your mouth. There are children watching. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
mainly you because you act like a child. Yeah. All right, guys. So as you could tell, anybody- Professional of him. Well, I know. we're going to ring it back. He's the here. guy wearing the suit. He's the guy wearing the suit on the interview. He yeah, can't even get it together. He can't even get it together. Uh, you're the one drinking on, on man. You're the one drinking on the job. That's real cliche of you. I appreciate that. Well, I'm a gentleman, sir. Yeah, you're I'm a having gen- a gentleman. I'm I'm yeah. doing gentlemanly things. Yeah. Guys, guys. <laughs> let's Make, continue. Let's let's continue. Let's get back as much as I love. My going apologies. Off, I love going I'll off own, the track. I'll own my part of that. I'll own my part of that, Jim. We appreciate my apologies. <clears throat> All right, so there's there's some clarity here, Larry. Yeah. There's, I mean, it's clear to me that this isn't the first time that these two have come face to face. There, there seems like there is a little bit of a history between you two, and you guys weren't just hand plucked to be the face of this championship. There is a reason that you two are meeting face to face in that ring for this prestigious championship. Absolutely. I would and, like, uh, I would I, like to hear I may little, interrupt. Go, if go I may ahead. interrupt. I'm sure. Beg my party. It, it's it's uh, the reason that I have my place in this matchup is because I went toe to toe with a guy who hold for hold and move for move. About as I've said before, um, can be considered as among the the best to come out of at least my territory of Minnesota. I wouldn't so much as to put Darius Martin over the front man, Jossie. In fact, if you watched the inaugural Black Wrestlers Matter event, I was the one getting put over in that uh, occasion. But that's why I'm here, because mm-hmm. I walked into a show that was so heavily promoted as uh, JDX getting the baton, so to speak, from ACA, who I consider as one of the greatest that I've ever seen do this. Hands down, he's phenomenal. and. You went toe to toe, hold for hold with that guy, mano a mano, and that's that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. But see, but see, that's the thing. I'm 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 where I'm at because well, I the, stole I that you. show that you were trying to main event. I I'm the guy. That, oh God, come on! You curtain for me. You damn right. I was handed the baton. I, I set a high bar. That's what I did. I took the baton. I wasn't handed the baton. I took the baton. And I went toe-to-toe with a guy This is a former WWE superstar, a guy that has wrestled all over the world, not just the country, the world, the world. Dude, awesome, dude. Awesome. Beat, where? How did you beat Darius Martin, man? Hats off to you. Yeah, you beat Darius, but how did you do it? He slipped on a banana peel, and I oh. took advantage of the situation as any professional in my position would. You wouldn't have done the same thing. You wouldn't have done the same thing. Here's a spoiler alert for Saturday night. Watch the kick. All right, well. Underhand tactic after another underhand tactic. Then I can watch the kick. But I also got to watch the cheating, the lying. (laughs) So, all right, fellas. Now, JDX, he's talking about job. Uh, the cheating and stuff like that. Now, to play devil's advocate, if the ref doesn't see it, what a ref don't see, he can't call. If he gets away with something like that, how, and you know that it, that J, that he might pull this if he's done it in the past and you believe that he will do it, how do you get ready for that? How do, how do you have I'm, a defense for I'm that not, in the ring? I'm not one of those pretend dudes that hop on here after winning a match and tries to convince you that he didn't do everything that it took to get the win. I am. I'm that guy. I own very much my stick. I am not a clean man. I promise you that. There's blood on my hand. But this matchup is so much different than that. This matchup has to be pure. It has to be real. It's for the inaugural championship. We are setting a standard. We're setting a standard, and, and that can't be painted by, uh, you know, felonious tactics, so to yeah. speak. So I would never, I would never bring that into this space. Now I assure you that that's I a, got you. that's a face I, of someone that doesn't believe that. That's that's no, you know what, man? I actually do believe that, dude. I 
you just took a lot of weight off my shoulders, man. You just let me know that this Saturday, I don't have to worry about you using backhand, underhand tactics, whatever you want to call it. I don't have to worry about you cheating, man. I appreciate that, job. Ja. That's that's really big of you. I feel like you're turning a <laughs> you're turning over a new leaf, man. You're turning you're turning the corner, man. You're becoming a new a new person, dude. I appreciate that. It really means that I don't have to go into this match worrying about you cheating. I appreciate that. You don't have to worry about me going into this match cheating. I got it. Man. What you have to worry about is me going into this match prepared to beat you in a wrestling match. Got you. That's it. I just got to win. After I beat you, and I'm 15 pounds heavier. You got to admit to the world and everyone watching that I'm better than you. Ooh. That's hey, man. Be a sweet sound in my ear. Jossie, man. Right hand to you. Right hand on the very Bible that you wrote. If you beat me fair and square, no cheating, no gimmicks, no lying, no stealing, whatever you want to call it, I'll admit that you are the better man. Hmm. A truce. Somewhat. Of yeah. Truce. I'll take it for now. Now, given that this is the first time this championship will ever be defended or fought over, there's a lot of weight and there's a lot of meaning. A lot of meaning from a big, like it's a larger meaning than most. Like this is, what it, what would this mean to each one of you to hold this championship? What, is there words to even describe it? Yes. I've been on record saying it before, and I'll say it again. As Jossi stated earlier, it is the measuring stick. It is setting the bar. For me, I look at it as history making. And if you look at the history of the great African Americans in this world, if you look at the, the Martin Luther Kings, the Malcolm X's, the Frederick Douglasses, the Booker T. Washingtons. Hell, if you want to go inventors, if you want to say the Elijah McCoys, right next to them, it'll be me, the real McCoy. As the first ever Black Wrestlers Matter champion. Because one day, I, I truly do believe that in a museum, you'll see the Black Wrestlers Matter championship. And right next to that, you'll see a statue of me, the first ever champion. I'm so amused by you doing this whole Brother Johnson routine, pretending as though you're the flag bearer for our generation and for our entire culture. I'm so amused by you uh, leaning on the names of the Black people that did dope stuff in the past. And, and, well, and you're, attempting, you're attempting to take their honors and, and compare it and say it in the same space as you and what you do, almost as though you are that, but you're not. I'm amused by it. Ain't it? I, I live to entertain. Do you not? Hmm? Do you not say your song and dance? No. And your little rhymes and your little... <laughs> no. No? no. 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 That's that's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong. I don't live to entertain. Right. Jump. I, I, I live to prove my words and to prove my worth and to prove my, my place on this earth, dog. That's what I live to do. And it just so happens that I do that in the vein of entertainment, the, the world that you live in. And I do it better than you. Mind that's, you. That's a good spin. And I do it on my own volition. I do it on my own accord. I do it under my own breath and my own name. Not not what someone else is giving me. All right? That's what I do. Now, if you would please shut up for a moment, I would like to answer that question that they asked. Go ahead as you continue to get drunk. Go for it, man. I need to win, man. We know. You've got so much more already. Me, I'm scratching and clawing for all of this stuff. I need that championship so that everybody knows that I'm more than the glitzy jacket and the shiny boots and the dope matches that I put on. I need everyone to know that I'm more than how awesome I speak. I'm just this. And I'm 
phenomenal at it. And Black Wrestlers Matter Championship, the Silver Smoke is what I call it because I feel universal. That proves that point. That proves that mission. Yeah. That's why I need it. You need it because you need to move out of your mama's garage, dog. Ooh. <laughs> This is flow. adorable. This is adorable. Your childlike game. How yeah. how is class going down there with uh, Professor Cody? How is it? Is it awesome? Is yeah, it good. awesome? Yeah. Waiting outside of the principal's office to to sign to show him the signed piece of paper that your mom and dad signed for you and say, "Hey, man, I I I've got the goods." My dad, Ken Anderson, and my dad, Eric Cannon, they said, "I've got the goods. I can be on Dynamite too." It's funny you, Cody. It's funny you bring up Eric. How was class down there? It's going great. Uh, speaking of class, the student I've of the game. Plenty of it. Plenty of it. The student, the student of the game that I am. I was thinking earlier. I was thinking back to what Eric Cannon actually told me. One of my trainers. One of my dads oh, gosh i'm sure it was something about how cocky ja is and how he's only ever going to get in his own way because he runs his mouth and he thinks he's god's last gift to the universe i'm sure it was something along those lines go ahead no, it, it wasn't you're wrong um see that once again that that proves how it proves how arrogant you are that you thought it was about you because it wasn't now if you allow me to enlighten you for a second and you just shut your damn mouth and you hold that tongue of yours i'll tell you exactly what he told me one night. It was one night after him and I wrestled. He beat me. And after he beat me, you know what he did? He said, kid, wait one second. He went to go grab a microphone. And as the crowd was chanting my name after I lost, he looked me dead in my eyes and he spoke into that microphone and he said, JDX, your night is coming. And I just didn't know what he meant by that until now. So I look to you, Jossie, and I'm going to say, your night is coming. But the problem is, June 19th just isn't that night. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the showdown before the throwdown and tensions are at an all-time high. I don't know. How dare you have the balls and the gumption to think that I was going to be so humble as to let you end on that note, on that accord. Huh? You think that JDX seen some song and dance about how Eric Cannon said that one day just maybe he was going to have the goods to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with God's gift and, and prove that he's the better man? You think that I'm entertained by that? No, dude. I'm going to teach you a lesson, dog. I told you once and I'll tell you time and time again until I get it through that thick, stupid skull of yours. JDX just stands for just a damn extra. In a Jossie, in the Jossie show. Yeah. Everything that you see revolves around me and you are merely a co-star. Barely being afforded the opportunity to pick up a plate at Cable, thanks to Ja. Yeah. Jossie, does it bother you, man? I heard you say something. I heard you say that I'm not championship material. And, you know, I was tossing and turning all night long. I'm just like, where's this guy been living? Because I thought he lived in Minnesota. I thought he lived in the Midwest. Because has he not seen what I've done in my three years as a professional sports entertainer wrestler? Has he not seen me hold not two, excuse me, not two, there we go, not two, not three, not four, but five championships at one time? Has he not seen me do that? Hmm? Not championship material? Does it bother you that I've held 
more championships in one year that you have in your whole career. Not to mention the fact that you've been wrestling, what, maybe six years, five years? What's that, two more years than I have? Does it bother you, huh? That people decide to put to put the company on my back? Does that eat away at yes. you, man? And it decide it just <laughs> it helped you decide to 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 say something so stupid that I'm not championship material. Yes. To answer your question, yes. It bothers me so goddamn much that I have believed my entire life that I was doing. It bothers me so much that I've always thought that I am special. It bothers me so much that I've always thought that, and I ain't got a goddamn thing to show for that belief. That bothers me. It bothers me that I've had to sit on the sidelines to watch Eric Cannon pat your back and give you the confidence that I've so desperately needed in my life. Yeah, that bothers me. And I will own this mistake that I said. I said that you weren't championship material in Man to man, I'm willing to own up to that. I'm wrong, clearly. Five championships. You must have done something that I haven't. That you but, need it? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to cut but, you off. I but, just help myself. You said that, I am that, so damn different than anything you've ever seen, <laughs> Justin. I had to pat you on the back and tell you how good you are. Damn it, you know it. You wake up and you know it, right? <laughs> You're the front man. I'm different. God's last gift. You don't need nobody to pat you on the back and tell you that you're good and, and give you confidence. Huh? What you talking about? I'll tell you this. This Saturday, June 19th, in Des Moines, Iowa, I don't know who the fuck this guy is who needs people to pat him on the back and tell him that he's good and boost up his confidence, but God damn it, you better get your head on straight. Because if you don't, it'll be me. At the end of the night, just like Black Muscle, look, excuse me, just like Black Wrestlers Matter One, it'll be me at the end of the night, standing tall with the light shining bright on me. But this time, this time, I'll have what you call the silver smoker. Any last replied, front man? Yeah. Uh, Idolescence debuted everywhere earlier today on my Twitter. Check that out, and you'll know. You'll know exactly what I feel about this childish situation. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, June 19th can't come soon enough because this will be the title bout that we will be talking about for the rest of the year. You've heard it here first, and this won't be the last time. Thank you both for joining us, and we look forward to this title matchup, Juneteenth.